All right, everyone, this is Josh Rubin from East West Healing, and today I want to talk to you about does bone broth contain histamines? But before we get started, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification so when we put out a video every week, you get notified. Let's jump in. So the answer to this is yes, but the answer to this is no, right? A lot of foods contain histamine, but foods aren't the problem. If you watch one of our last videos and we talk about histamine, remember a histamine intolerance is your inability to clean up the excess histamine that's being produced because of a chronic inflammatory response or a copper deficiency. The enzyme that cleans up histamine anytime we have an immune system attack, mast cell attack, and we have chronic inflammation or we eat these foods is diamine oxidase. This enzyme is copper dependent, right? Meaning it cannot work without copper. It's like the keys to the car. If you don't have keys to your beautiful car, you can't turn it on, you can't drive, you can't use it, it's useless. This enzyme becomes useless, thus histamine builds up in the system. That is why you might not be able to eat bone broth or other histamine foods, but I can. You're in a more chronic inflammatory state and you don't have enough copper in the system. Now, what causes this? Of course, many things from antibiotics, antidepressants, cardiovascular drugs, NSAIDs, alcohol, synthetic vitamins, minerals, GMO foods, high fructose corn syrup, the list goes on. The problem is even depleted soil. All these things affect copper metabolism, but then when we become chronically stressed, the hormones that we're producing, ACTH, affect copper metabolism as well as cortisol causes the body to produce a protein, metallothionine that binds copper and makes things even worse, in a sense, makes you more histamine intolerant. Now, broth is huge. Everyone loves broth. It's nurturing, it's good, it's warm. It can heal the mucous membranes in the gut. It's a light food for a lot of us that don't have an appetite. It's a great food. So how do you make it work for you? First, and the most important thing is don't buy it, make it. Why? You have complete control over everything when you make it. You have control of the spices. You have control of the water. You have control of the types of bones and how long you cook it. So always make it, don't buy it. Number two, always get grass-fed bones. Get the cleanest bones you can get. The old saying goes, you can't make chicken salad out of chicken shit. So buy clean bones, marrow bones, oxtail, things like that. You can find tons of grass-fed bones online. So make sure you cook it, control it, and buy grass-fed bones. The third is roast your bones for 40, 30 to 45 minutes in the oven to pull the minerals out. The minerals are probably one of the most important aspects of broth itself. Don't just toss these frozen bones or fresh bones into the water and cook them. Roast them for a good 30 to 45 minutes to pull those minerals out and make your bone broth as nutrient-dense as possible. The last recommendation is when it comes to making bone broth, control the cooking time. The longer you cook it, the better it tastes, but the more reactive or the more histamine, the more reactive it's gonna be as you drink it and the more histamine is gonna be produced within the system. So control your cooking time. Some people do very well with six to eight hours and some people have to do four to six hours. You're gonna have to titrate it and play with it a little bit to find the cooking time that works for you. But remember this, as you begin to build up your system with food, and as you begin to reduce that stress response and build up your copper stores, your histamine intolerance should go over way over time, right? And then what happens is you don't have to be as concerned about your bone broth. Yes, you still wanna cook it. Yes, you still wanna control it and buy the bones, but you don't have to focus on the four to six or six to eight hour mark. You can cook it for 12, 13, 14, 15 hours. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, post them below. Thanks for tuning in. I'm out.